Hi, this is Mabel's Tables. How are you today? Well, we're going to continue on with my Black History, um, the other side of Black History. This time, my subject will be Government Cheese Day. And if you're old enough to remember Government Cheese Day, you know what this means. That means when you had to line up in a line and wait outside to get a block of that government cheese. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about Government Cheese Day. Well, it was one Wednesday afternoon. It was supposed to have been passed out that Wednesday morning, but the praying society found some discrepancies in the passing out. The women of the Colored Camp Praying Society found out that the other side was getting raisins, canned chicken, canned beef, walnuts, green peppers and red peppers and they and flour and meal and even sugar and after they found out they decided that when the government woman came and the man came with the stuff to pass out they was gonna have a little talk with them the singing and praying society decided that Everybody was going to be treated equal on this government day. They instructed all folks in the color camp not to go to the government cheese day giveaway until after 12 noon. So around 1215, all the people showed up at the government cheese giveaway day. They got in line and waited their turn. They got a block of cheese, two blocks of butter, and that was it. They stood there, wouldn't move. So the people that was passing out the government cheese said, what y'all doing still standing here? Say, you got what you're going to get. Now get on now. Get on back to your home. But they would not move. One of the ladies in the praying and singing circle had went around and was talking to the government lady and man that came with the boxes to pass out the stuff. The lady from the government center come around and one of the ladies from the singing circle said, See, we only have cheese and butter. We didn't get any raisins and walnuts, and chicken, and canned beef, and, and peppers, and rice. We didn't get any of that. So the government inspector, the lady and the man, asked the man that was passing out the bittles, why didn't this line over here get all the stuff that this line over here is getting? He said, well, we was under the impression that you just didn't give them everything you gave the other folks. And she says, the government does not differentiate. She said, I want all the people on this side to have the same thing as the people on the other side. That was the day the ladies at the praying and singing circle got happy on government cheese day. And you should have seen the spread that they put out at the Sunday service. They had macaroni and cheese, rice and cheese. They had chicken salad, chicken and dressing, beef and rice and cheese. They had English peas. They had it all on Sunday after service. They had a lawn eat off.
That means they put all the food on long tables outside on the lawn of the church and the whole neighborhood came and feasted. That is what government day was like in my day. What was government cheese day like in your day? This is Mabel's table saying, please don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself and always know that God is in large and in charge and that this is his world. Yes, it is. I don't care what anybody say or do. Jesus sit at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. Yes, yes, he does. And you know. He was here from the beginning and will be here to our end. Thank you so very much for sharing Black History Moments with me. Mabel's Table saying, Adieu.